here from Banksia Cove. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making another soap for my men's range. It's called Coastal Retreat. I have my oils mixed up ready to go. I've also got one of my colours predispersed in oil ready to go. So let's go ahead and make Coastal Retreat. So the first thing I'm going to do is mix through my colloidal oats and kaolin clay into my oils. All right, so let's get that added in. Got my notes here off to the side um, with my recipe along with my design idea and everything like that. Okay, so let's add in our tablespoon of kale and clay. Okay, so the fragrance we're using today is Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Aroma. And it's got the notes of, so top notes of sea spray bergamot, middle notes of fir needle and sage, and base notes of Ode Sea Salt. Um, it's a really nice fragrance and very unisex fragrance as well. So I thought it would be perfect for my, um, for a soap for my men's range. my color up through here Ooh. now the colors I'm using today this one is cold Blue Yonder from My Micro Obsession. And this little sample one here is just one I got off Amazon in a sample pack. It's the Rolio Electric Blue Mica. Just going to mix that up. Once we do our batch, what I'm going to do is pour some of that into this one here, which is the electric blue, to give me a slightly different colour. And then we're just going to swirl that through. Just do a drop swirl. We'll see how we go. So let's add in our lye. Weigh this. 803. There we are. Now I'm going to see what colour I've got. If I'm not happy with it, I might add some titanium dioxide. Still quite similar. So let's add some. Not 
not too much. Let's just go a tad more. Great, all right. So I do not know how this, um, sorry, I don't know how this fragrance oil is going to behave. So I'm going to scrape this off briefly. Pop that in there for now. I'm going to grab my mold. Now, I'm not sure if you guys saw my previous video or not, but the last time, last couple of times I have made soap in this mold, it's cracked. And it's because it's been too full that I haven't been able to pop the lid on. So I have reduced my all amount to try and reduce my total batch amount to try and combat that. So let's add in our fragrance. I'm going to hand stir this in. Just move this out of the way. Okay. And stir that. There's no rising or anything, so that's quite nice. Behaving very well so far, which is nice. Okay, let's get this into the mould. Bring you guys over for a closer look at that. So the first one going in is our blue yonder. I'm going to pour that in. I'm not going to scrape it out as I might leave some for the top. And then into that, we're going to drop swell. Our electric blue, making sure we get it into the corners. Go down. Oops, swirl it through. What I might do is scrape out the blue yonder. Very well behaved fragrance. I'm really happy with this one. I will definitely be using this in more soaps to come. Gives you a lot of time to work with it, which is great. If you're a soap maker myself, I can't express how important it is to note your fragrances when you use them 
and how they behave as a reference point for next time. Good. I think that's got rid of most of that for the least amount of cleaning up. I'm just going to go ahead and give this a good tap down. I'm just going to make it wait for it to set up a little bit more before I add the remaining of my electric blue on top. I want to try and do a wave effect. Okay, so I think this is set up enough for us to start popping this on the top. I'm going to do it along one side. Just going to grab a teaspoon. I'm going to try and do a wave. So I'll turn this around. I think it might be still too wet. Yeah, it is slightly. So it's almost there though. Give it another few minutes. Okay, so we're back. I've just tested it and I think we are at the right texture now. So I'm just going to go along like this with my spoon and try and create a little wave. There we are. So being that it is a part of my men's range, I'm obviously not going to sprinkle glitter or mica or anything like that on the top. But what I'll do now is I'll bring you guys down for a closer look. So I'm just having another look at the top and I'm just having another bit of a play around. It wasn't quite what I wanted it. So I'm just going to keep just sliding this up a little bit. I want it to kind of look like a wave, like when you first walk down to the beach and you see that that wave coming over. Okay. I think we will leave it at that. Let's bring you guys down again for another look. Now let's see if the lid is going to fit on today. up and see if we've got any soap on it and we do just have a little bit so I think that's going to be fine. I'm going to give it a bit of a 
spray with some alcohol. And we will be back tomorrow to cut this one and see what it looks like on the inside. I'll see you guys back here then. So we are back, it's the next day, and we are going to cut into the coastal retreat that we made yesterday. Still a bit soft on the corners. Line this up. Now, before I do cut it, I do want to show you guys that by covering the top, there is no cracks. So that was obviously the answer to doing that. So that's good to know. All right, let's make sure we're lined up again. Looks like we're good. Let's go ahead and cut this one. And let's see what we've got in the middle. Really nice swell. These edges off. I'm really happy with how that turned out. There is some soda ash on the top, but I am going to leave that because I think it adds to the coastal retreat theme coming up that wave that we created. It did get a bit squashed on top from having the lid on, but that's okay. I'll try and work something out the next time I make this one. But overall, I'm really happy with how that turned out. It just smells really lovely with that sage and sea salt. Let's try and grab one from this end. So that's it for the Coastal Retreat Soap. I am really happy with how this one turned out. Um, I'm really loving those swirls and the two different blues in that one. Next time I do it, I probably will try and get a bit more of that wave on top. But overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And it just smells really lovely. All right, so thanks so much again for watching. If you liked this video, please remember to like, and if you wanna see some more, please go ahead and subscribe. I'll see you guys again at the next one. Bye for now.